Hi, my name is Marcus Hara. I am a software development analyst and I'm passionate about improving the way we work in software development. Today, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite topics, software analytics. Software analytics is an approach that uses data-driven analysis of software systems, as well as surrounding processes and teams, to uncover weaknesses in the development and operation of software systems. A few years ago, I wrote my master thesis about this topic to guide refactoring activities for legacy systems. I discovered a fantastic definition of software analytics from Tim Mencius and Thomas Summerman during my work, which motivated me to dive deeper into this topic. Tim and Thomas said that software analytics is analytics on software data for managers and software engineers with the aim of empowering software development individuals and teams to gain and share insight from the data to make better decisions. That is a mouthful of a definition. Let's go through the definition step by step to see what it means and where it can help us. Let's consider what also happens when we develop or operate our software systems. Every step we take produces data, source code, test results, log files or commits. But this kind of data is very technical and fine granular. So if we as software engineers present this raw data to management, there is a high chance that we don't get understood or overload management with unimportant information. We need to deliver actionable insights where we and the management can base decisions on. Software Analytics tries to bridge this communication gap by bringing the raw data into a form that can be understood by non-technical people so that all stakeholders can discuss and prioritize worthwhile improvements. With software analytics, we don't have a mere gut feeling about what could work and what not, but a more data-driven decision-making model that is based on facts. I hope that you like this definition of software analytics, and if you want to know more about it, you will find more information below this video. Until next time.